This is what I-43 near Good Hope looked like last week during the morning commute. Yeah, those are inflatable boats. People trapped in high water despite heavy rain on the way. Officials are confident this will not happen again. Ricky Mitchell joins us live after talking to one of the drivers stranded in those Friday floods who actually waited on the roof of her car for help. Ricky. Steve, this is that project behind me on I-43. Part of the work involved installing new and larger storm sewers. Officials say that will prevent the flooding that stranded drivers like Danielle Crawford. Freeway lanes looking more like rivers as heavy rain flooded I-43 near Good Hope on Friday. Danielle Crawford says she was driving to work when traffic came to a standstill. Before she knew it, her front tires were in water. As more cars going past, they're pushing me further, further into the flood. Eventually, she says a wall of water from a semi truck twisted her car around, leaving her stranded in the flood. Somehow, some way, the power came back on and I was able to get the window down and climb on top. This video from a DOT traffic cam shows Danielle waiting for help as more cars go past and waves of water hit her car. It was frightening me more. Water was just splashing in my face. She called 911 but was told rescuers couldn't get to her at the moment. All I can think about is just hold on as tight as you can. Do not fall over. But then she says this man with the motorcycle came back for her. And he had walked into the water to come get me out of the water and he held me hand by hand and arm by arm until we got out of the water. All I was able to do was give him a hug, but I would like to treat him to dinner if, if anyone can find him. <laughs> Those new larger storm sewers were completed this weekend, actually ahead of schedule, and DOT officials say they should be, with, be able to withstand heavy rain, so drivers should not have to worry about a similar situation with tonight's storm. Reporting live along I-43 near Good Hope Road, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. Just remarkable to see. Ricky, thank you. Uh, we're going to be watching this rain all night long. The daybreak crew will keep you up to date on any flooding issues we have overnight. Wake up to the latest weather and traffic. Before you head off to work, live reports begin at 4.30 tomorrow.